Hello my people, Finerbub here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today, we're talking about the Bear Swamp Lake Loop, a nice and easy eight mile hiking loop in the Ramapo Valley County Reservation in Mawa, New Jersey. Throughout the video, I'll cover the basic details of the hike and towards the end, I'll share some of my personal thoughts in addition to any other info that I think you should know if you plan to hike this loop yourself. But before we get into that, just a little tidbit for those of you who don't know, on this channel, I'm all about sharing my thoughts and experience on the best spots to check out and the best gear to bring with. So if, like me, you'd like to spend more time outside appreciating the finer things in life, do yourself a favor and consider subscribing. Also, feel free to check out the description below for links to any of the gear or hiking information resources I mentioned. Alrighty then, without further ado, let us begin. So, as some of you know, I have three brothers, one of whom got married last month. So, in an effort to get some exercise on the day before the wedding, the four of us headed to the Ramapo Reservation for a day of hiking and brotherly camaraderie. We started our hike here, at the Ramapo Valley County Reservation parking area on Route 202 in Mawa, New Jersey. The plan was to hike an eight mile route called the Bear Swamp Lake Loop. Hello my people, Finerbub here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going for a nice eight mile hike, Woo. slash walk. Mm -hmm. Haven't left the pavement yet or found the trailhead, but we'll check in soon when we do. Toodaloo. Any gaiters in there? No, we're going straight and then it's the trail should curve to the left. That is our road. Oh yeah. Alright, should we just keep going? We got a long way to go. You wanna to go to the waterfall? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, okay. Go on and check out the waterfall. Just taking a little detour here. Pretty hot. It's about 86 degrees out. Very humid. Very humid. One mile. This is nice. A little less crowded yeah. on this waterfall offshoot. Pretty this sweet. This stream is natural air conditioning. Yeah, that's true. Trees. Yeah. It's still pretty hot though. Are we there? That's the waterfall? Yep. It's not but the trickle. So, Tivo and I have the same boots today, and Kaka and I have the same backpack. Yeah, so, I mean, they're pretty comfy, but I think for this hike, sneakers were, would have been the right move. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard my foot running on Tuesday. Oh, so I like the, feel the support. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially the ankle support. Yeah, good ankle support. Also waterproof. Yeah. Oh yeah, timber rattlesnakes and northern copperheads. That's what it says on the sign. No swimming allowed. So we got to walk along the edge over there and then the loop starts on the other side. I think we go up. We go up. Would be like conscious and they can deceive, you know, humans into thinking. Right? Well, it depends if your data lives on in the cloud. Okay, so we are at the intersection with the beginning of the loop. So we're going to take a left, yeah? Yeah, so we could go that way. We're going this way. This is the beginning of the loop. So we've been hiking for two miles, but we took a detour. We did this hike on a weekend, so it was pretty crowded in all of the main areas near the parking lot. But lucky for us, the crowd started to thin out once we got a bit further into the woods. So we basically had the entire loop section of the hike to ourselves. Yeah, so boots, 
Boots are definitely unnecessary for this hike. I'm really only wearing them so that I could keep breaking them in because they're still pretty new. It's only the second hike I've done. Probably gone about 10 miles total in these boots, but yeah, they're already much more broken in than they were the first day I went hiking. But yeah, you definitely don't need that much uh, ankle support or waterproofness or warmth on these trails here. It's definitely more of like a weekend warriors park as opposed to like major hiking situation, but it's definitely good to get out. Got a little sweaty second weekend in a row since the quarantine. So yeah, feels good. Feels good to be out in nature. Yeah, see you there. Doing fine in sneakers. I probably could have worn my sneakers, but definitely enjoy the, the feeling of a nice, good, broken in pair of boots. I had the other Ace Solos, the all leather ones, and those took way longer to break in than this. Did the whole Pemi loop in those, hiked a few other trails, and then my feet grew. So I had to give them away. I do, Theo. He's finally getting married. He's finally getting married. Whew. Nice and sweaty. Should we sit on this rock and drink water? Or should we just keep cruising? These trails are pretty well maintained, though. Yeah, once you get a little further into the park, the crowds sort of disappear. I mean, it's a weekend, so it's definitely more crowded than it would be otherwise, but yeah, still not too bad once you get in here off the main trail. Oh, is this a trail? Oh, here's yellow. We're at an intersection. Let me check the map. Um, I think we're still going this way. Uh, yeah, I think we're going the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, we were supposed to go the other way. <laughs> off route alert. Yeah. There's just so many freaking trails here. It's like, they all intertwine. Well done, Kaka. Give us a triumphant pose. Uh, Yeah, of like plants you, and stuff. When you had the backpacks next to each other. The Horn of Gondor. Boromir. Dun 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 dun. Oh yeah, right there. That. See that frame within a frame. Oh yeah, it's a tree growing out of a rock. That is really dope. Are, like, and I'm kind of stuck to you now. <laughs> Most definitely. Look at that grassy spot, too. Yeah. That's where the fairies dance. At moonlight. So we've gone a little over three miles at this point and we're walking through this sort of beautiful meadowy forest area. I don't know, it's not quite a meadow, but yeah, lots of clearings. Oh look, an old shack, a ramshackle shack coming up. But yeah, it's really nice in here. Beautiful, very reminiscent of the final fight scene in Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> Thank you, you found a house. Look at this house. It's a house for trees. Would you look at that? <laughs> it is a house for trees. Very cool. 
Okay, boys, should we follow the trail? Okay, so after the pretty area, you get a road. Huh? Look, we're on this for a, for a while, yeah. till there. So it's big double time. Yeah, double time. Yes, no stopping. Just It'll be good, Ro road, road walks are good for picking up the pace. They must have caught us and what do you smell? And flesh. Snake. Three point five. Three point five. Well not nine and a half. That's so including the our loop itself is eight miles and we went like a mile and a half before we even started. Yeah. So we got a while to go. No, I think the whole hike is eight miles. But we did do a little extra thing to that waterfall. Okay. Big hill. Here we go. I know. I'm too old for this, Gandalf. <laughs> Hell no, son. Hell no. Conservation is the key to success. Tortoise in the hair, baby. Tortoise in the hair. Slow and steady. Fat and slow, wins the race, fat and slow. So how long have you had those boots? Like many years? You wore them on our Catskills hike yeah. last fall. Yeah, so, I don't know. Whoa! Whoa. Look at that guy. Oh, he's got eyeballs. All right, I gotta get the other camera for this. It's a caterpie. Guys, we made it to Camp Yawpaw. Whoa. We're still on Bear Swamp Road. It's got a while to go. I've been hiking for an hour and 53 minutes. Uh, just past the four mile marker, including our little detour to that waterfall. And it is 2.35 p.m. So, we're definitely more than halfway to the lake. And then we go around the lake. But like, I also don't oh, right. want to bring dun, dun, my dun, dun. into it. Oh, that's a yeah. lot of boots. <laughs> do that with my sneakers. I mean, I think talking about your personal connection yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would say that like I live there and, and like the situation I don't know if I would say. Cruising, cruising, cruising. Down the road we go. Too bad it wasn't on video. Whoa, Tivo breaks his neck right before his wedding. I think I got bit by a black fly right here, did I? I can't I killed see it right on my that. forehead. I felt that all the way up to my shoulder. Oh yeah? Like the landing. Oh yeah. Because I landed like smack on this heel. Here, I don't know if this is the way, but. We just want to see. That is a lot of lily pads. Yeah. Wow. Holy shnock. Maybe, maybe this is why they call it Bear, Bear Swamp, Swamp Lake? Yeah, yeah. Wait. 
This is going to be the thumbnail photo. Sure is a swampy lake. Around the lake we go. It has been dry. It's kind of rain. Oh look, another chimney. So we're now circling the Bear Swamp Lake, about halfway done with the hike. Whew. About two more hours to go probably. Yeah, that's that's compost. Good hike. Good, Good hike. Good hike. Good hike. Best hike all of quarantine. Yeah. It might be actually very melted at this point. Uh oh, melted. Yeah, I think I think we should we should quickly like make our way away from the lake because it's more buggy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then once we can like sort of stop to see the sights once we get further away. Just cause I'm just getting attacked right now. No, no, fair enough. It is very cool. Yeah, two crazy different cultures. Guys, we should check for ticks when we get back to the car. Just like a big spider web. We have a fork in the road here. Not sure which way to go. Okay, I think we're almost probably like three quarters of the way around the lake. And now, as soon as we hit the road, we're gonna kind of double back on the other side of the lake before heading back to the car. There you can kind of see the lake through the trees. It's 3.12 p.m. We've been hiking for two hours and 30 minutes. We've gone 5.4 miles. The bugs are pretty bad around the lake here. We're doing this on August 1st. So, yeah, I bet if you come in the fall, it won't be as bad, but that's always the case, isn't it? Yeah, like these people that lived on the side of like forests. Like squirrels would come and try and eat the chicken feed and then the chicken would eat the squirrels. Yeah, yeah Reddit's got like conversations about everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're off the route. We took a shortcut. Exactly. Yeah, no filter. Yeah, we should have taken the yellow, but we took the blue. Yeah. Accidental shortcut. It's okay though. Accidental shortcut. Yeah. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Oh, it's so hot and swampy here. Okay. To like the rising seas, like this, this is Mountain Road. Talks about how we. Like when sea levels rise, so we should have come from there. Turn the land back to swamp. It's okay though. Because yeah, it's hot day. Arguing against putting a barrier on the thousand, they would tell us, teach us about climate adaptation and climate mitigation. Where that? That's where the raptors are kept. Some chips? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Backpack's pretty good. It's like nice and lightweight, you know? 
My other one's a little clunkier. But I do miss the hip belt pockets. It's like I'm basically trading a better a better valuables pocket for for the hip belt pockets and the cushioning on the lumbar. Oh look, somebody lost the scarf. It's like a shawl. Shawl. Oh, this is a cool, a cool forest. How long have you had that pack, Jake? Um, not that long. I just got it like uh, Marathon Sports a few months ago. Like, huh. maybe... Is it a running pack? Yeah, it's a running pack. He's like my height, maybe like half an inch, two inch tall. We've been hiking for two hours and 58 minutes. Gone 6.6 .6 miles. Ooh, this is very cat skillsy. This this path right here. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. The keeper. Oh, it feels so good to be outside. Oh, second hike since the quarantine. Much needed. Much needed, my friends. Almost back at the lollipop stick. Here. Oh yes, look at these boys. They're my brothers. My good brothers. Cheese, 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 cheese. Okay, now let me come sit. And we'll all be in the photog in the GoPro. <sighs> That's an extra two hundred for y'all. Yay. Yay, brothers. Yay, brothers. Yay, should I do a selfie? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, watch out for the watch one watch above out. our head. Watch out. <laughs> oh, wow. Can we get that one? Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was wow, hopefully we don't kill ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I took my feet off. And the four brothers were alive no longer. Quickly, through the bridge before it collapses. <laughs> <laughs> That was slightly precarious. Let's not do that again. Well, it was a good, it was a good moment. Yeah. We got a video. So one thing I've noticed that's really helped with the breaking in of these boots is just to sort of stop and retie them pretty frequently. And yeah, I feel like they're almost totally broken in now. And we're probably, I don't know three quarters of the way done with this hike and this is the second hike I've done in it about the same length so yeah uh miles I've probably so we've done just over seven today and I think I did around seven point something um last Friday yeah so about 15 miles before you break in these boots and you're supposed to step in some puddles and stuff because I guess it helps the leather form around your foot a little more and they're waterproof so you don't have to worry about soaking through. Yeah, a solos best to and I love the light, the newer model, the light. Oh, uh, have you, you have those? I've had them for like almost a year and a half, two years now. Wow. Okay, hold up, let me check the map. Come on, click into place. Where are we? Oh, we're right at the crossroads. Oh, this is where we started the loop. Uh, hey, so, yeah. so when we started the loop, we went that way and we just came from there. And now I believe we go this way. Yeah, we're going the right way. And then we're gonna pass McMillan Reservoir. Okay, that's a good hike. Definitely recommend it. No epic views or anything like that, but the pond is really nice looking and uh, it's a good way to get out after being locked down, you know, feels good. So if you're ever in Mawa, New Jersey or um, this area near the Ramapo, whatchamacallit, 
um, yeah, definitely check out this Bear Swamp Lake hiking loop, eight mile hiking loop. Over the Brookie Brook again. Cheese, Kaka. Cheese. Cheese. Woo! Cheese. Cheese. Cheese time. I would love some cheese. How many miles have we gone? We have gone 7.55. Like the prototype finer bub mask. Still needs some work. It's a little off center. Gotta make it polyester. Yeah. Dry fit. Or a merino. Yeah. We had a pretty fun time overall. The eight mile walk was a nice way to spend some time together before the wedding. Plus it was nice to finally get out and test some of the new gear I've been hoarding since the lockdown. As far as the Ramapo Valley County Reservation goes, it was actually a pretty nice spot to check out. Some parts more than others. It was definitely crowded in certain areas and there were no mountains with epic lookout points. But if you're willing to walk a bit further than most, you'll be sure to find at least a few patches of tranquil woodland. One thing I will say is that you should probably bring a phone. This place had so many different trails crisscrossing over each other that we made more than a few wrong turns throughout the day. Oh, and before I forget, you'd think bringing some kind of bug spray on a hike with the word swamp in the title would be intuitive, but we didn't, and you definitely should. We were eaten alive, especially whilst encircling the swamp. You guys want to go to the waterfall? Yeah, no, it's a trickle. It trickle. The water trickle. <laughs> Back at lake number one, right before the parking lot. And that's really all there is to it. So there you have it, folks. I'd like to wish a very warm welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. If this is the first video of mine that you've seen, I just want to let you know that I also make gear review videos in addition to the hiking videos like this one. So if you're curious about some of the gear I brought on this hike, or you just want to learn about some more exciting new places via yours truly, I'll leave some links down below that should suit you quite nicely. Alrighty, my people, that concludes today's episode of the Finer Bub Show. If you've already been to the Ramapo Valley County Reservation, or if you have any questions or suggestions for where I should go next, I'd love to have you comment below, especially if you think your insight can help me disprove something that I think I already know. But before you do, I just want to thank you oh so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're planning your next trip or looking for new gear, don't let the small details stress you out. Remember, life's an adventure. So relax, breathe in the outdoors, and don't forget to appreciate the finer things in life. See you out there, people. Peace. Cock is catching up. I get it right there. Uh, might not be first this time. <laughs> Where's the parking lot? Was it that way? Uh, I think it was. Because remember we came yeah. this way towards the parking? Yeah. Oh, it stinks. Stinky poopoos. Walk, good hike. No epic views, good exercise. Cool yeah, that's true. Definitely good for trail running. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, Once this thing gets all loose and sweaty, it doesn't stay up nearly as well as a mask. Oh, we found the parking lot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Kaka won. First. Uh, yeah. Second. Uh, didn't have it in me this time. Two packs, one trunk. <laughs>